So stay tuned for that. The address will be right here. So every Friday, a video is coming. So be prepared for that. But today's video, I will be doing a swatch and a review for the Kylie Jenner birthday kit. And guys, the struggle I went through to get this is crazy. So I went on their website the day that it launched, and I tried to get the whole kit with the mini mats, but that didn't end up working out. So. I went back on the site because it keeps you in this like holding place just because there's so many people trying to get in so the site doesn't crash. So I kind of thought I got it because I was getting into a holding place. So I was like, all right, I my confidence was was up. And then it said that every, like that, that that was sold out. But then I went back on to like the products and they still had like all the cream eyeshadows, the eyeliner, the lip gloss, the metal, the matte um, lip kit. So I was like, okay, I need to get this before it runs out. So I basically got everything but the mini mattes, but that's alright because I already had some of the mini mattes in the full size. So that was all good. But I'm so happy I got this. And guys, one more thing. Don't forget to um, enter my back to school giveaway and which is a Morphe palette, and my 50k subscriber giveaway. They are all still open. Make sure to go check the description because the links are in there. So, without further ado, let's jump into the video. Alright guys, and to start off the review, I have the Kylie Cosmetics bag. It's super cute. It has her logo on the front. It's her grill with the lipstick that's like dripping. It's really pretty. And then if you open it, it's really, really big. And it's deep. You have a lot of space in here. And also there's a pocket. And then her zipper has a K on it for Kylie. And it just zips up like if I can get it to work a cosmetic bag and guys this bag is gorgeous I really like it the pink stands out everything stands out um but to be completely honest this bag is overpriced this bag retails for $42 and most cosmetic bags retail for $15 to $25 so the only reason I got this bag was because I got the whole collection and everything matched it so I just decided to get this Guys, to be honest, this bag is super, super duper cute, and I'm so happy I have it, but I would not recommend paying just for the bag where you can find cheaper ones. And guys, I'm not trying to offend anyone or her um, makeup line. Her makeup line is absolutely gorgeous. I'm just giving my honest opinion since it is a review, and I want to be honest with you guys and tell you guys what I think because... I want to help you guys with what you buy and with, 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 with what products you get, so... My whole review is going to be totally honest with you, and like I said about this bag, I don't think it's worth $42. Moving on. Alright, next I have the Kylie Cream Shadows, and these were actually one of my favorites out of the whole birthday collection, but once again, the only downfall was the price for the size. I don't think that $20 each is worth it, because both of these, for each one, is $20. Um. Don't get me wrong, the color is absolutely gorgeous, and this is rose gold, this is the one I'm wearing today. Um, if you're willing to spend the money, great buy. Now if you don't have the money, I'm sure a brand like Colourpop will soon have these and they'll be $10. I love Colourpop and I find Colourpop and Kylie Cosmetics super similar, but the difference is Colourpop is affordable, whereas Kylie's isn't as affordable. So. To get back to this, the colors are absolutely gorgeous. They're very creamy and they're very well made. But like I said, the downfall is the price, which is the downfall with most of her products because you can find way cheaper dupes for all of her products. And then the other one is in the shade Copper and it's more of a goldy color. Guys, they're beautiful. I mean, I'm not going to sit here and bash the product. I'm just saying that you can find way cheaper dupes. The price um, is overpriced, but again, the product is absolutely gorgeous and it looks gorgeous on your eyes and I don't regret buying it. Alright, so now we have the Kylie eyeliner kit. And what this kit brings is it brings the pot, and it brings the brush, and then it brings the actual eyeliner. And this product was great. Um, it's in the dark bronze, by the way. It's it's so pretty. It's 
an eyeliner that's kind of metallic-y. It has a little bit of glitter in it. You can find cheaper ones, I think. It's the same as any other eyeliner I've ever used. Um, the only good thing is, is that it does bring three products, and this retails for $38. Yeah, that's pretty expensive for an eyeliner, but again, you are receiving a brush, you are receiving an eyeliner, and you are receiving the pot. So, it's kind of worth it, but it's up to you guys, so you guys can do what you want. I love, love, love this eyeliner. It was super pretty. Alright, so the next product we have is the Poppin Gloss, and this is a really gold metal metallic -y, um, lip gloss and this retails for $16 it's very very pretty it's very sheer but it's a lip gloss so what would you expect this would be really pretty over um this color even but I wouldn't really put a lip gloss over matte lipstick you could but I wouldn't personally this is very gorgeous the applicator is a brush the color is very pigmented. I would personally, if I was to wear it alone, I would personally layer it a couple of times just because of how sheer it is. But all in all, this product was good. I think it's pretty worth the money. Um, you could obviously, I know I'm saying this about every product, but you can obviously find dupes for all these products. And guys, by the way, comment down below if you want me to do a makeup tutorial using all of the birthday collection products because I would love to do that. And if you guys want to see it, then just let me know down below. But yeah, all in all, this product is great. I liked it, and it's super really pretty. Super really pretty, <laughs> but no. And also, one more thing. The packaging for this is absolutely gorgeous. It's gold with like the paint dripping like all of her other lip glosses and her lip kits. This one was pretty, I like it. Moving on to the next lip product. All right, and now I have Lord, and this is the metal. And I love, love, love this color. It's absolutely stunning. I have it on my lips right now. This color, the application was out of this world. This is like my favorite thing out of the whole collection. I, most liquid lipstick I have, they take three minutes to dry, three to five minutes to dry. This dries immediately, which is awesome. And like, there's a little bit of like, like product that comes off, but, on the like this this stays on it does not move it feels like I have nothing on my lips it's gorgeous I really had nothing bad to say about this um this retails for $19 and the application um not the application the applicator is super good it picks up so much product and it's pretty wide so it can cover your lip so where you don't make mistakes I have the matte lip kit in Leo and this color is absolutely gorgeous when I got this on the website I was so happy because I've always wanted a maroon color it's this color is like to die for I fell in love but when I was applying it there were things that went wrong and I do talk about that in the swatch portion of this um, video so stay tuned for that but also this lip kit is like any other lip kit on her website it comes with a lip liner um, this retails for $30 and it's worth the price. I mean, you get a lip liner and you get a lipstick, so it's pretty reasonable. But if you want to see more of how like the application went and like the color and all that. which is the matte lip kit and the color is gorgeous do not get me wrong but when I put it on it came on really really patchy and really streaky as you can see like up here it's really patchy down here it's it's it was kind of bad I mean the color is gorgeous it's a really maroon darkish red kind of brownie kind of color like that and the, the applicator didn't pick up much product it's kind of I don't know this color, like I said, is absolutely amazing, but I don't think it worked out how, like, applying it was terrible. I, it's, it's going to take me at least another coat to even get it to look good, and I had to dunk it back in. I had to keep getting product, like, five times, which other lipsticks that I do own, I can only go with one coat because they're so pigmented. 
I'm really upset that this is streaky and patchy just because this color is so beautiful. Alright, so that was the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. This was my honest opinion. It is not meant to offend anyone or Kylie. I absolutely love her makeup line. Um, her ideas and her products are gorgeous and I totally recommend them. Also guys, if they if you can't afford them or anything, there are dupes. One of my favorite dupes is Colourpop. That's also one of my favorite brands of makeup. So go check that out. Kylie's Cosmetics will be down in the description, so go check that out. This birthday kit was limited edition. It is not available anymore, but like I said in the video, if you guys didn't hear that or anything, if you want to see a makeup tutorial on this collection, then comment down below because I would do that for you guys. And once again, that was my honest opinion. I hope you guys enjoyed the swatches as well. But as always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you haven't already, please turn on my post notifications so you never miss a video when it comes out. But if you guys did happen to get this birthday collection while it was in stock, tweet me a picture on Twitter or Instagram me because I would love to see that. Also, um, I will see you guys in my next video. And don't forget to comment down below which product is your favorite and if you would like to see a makeup tutorial. But I love you guys so much and see you in my next video. Bye! Back to what I was saying. <laughs> Cause <laughs> I'm